So I saw your tattoo. I see the butterfly. Now let's tie this in prophetically if God was going to speak to you, okay? Butterflies equal metamorphosis, which means a change. We put things on our body that is more significant than you think, okay? So this shows me that throughout your life, you have been having too many changes. There's been change after change after change. This includes with relationships. This includes with friendships. You, you're doing good for maybe three months, six months, a year. And then, oh, here's this drastic thing. Oh, I've lost something that's very close to me. Or, you know, I put my all into this and now everything's just shifted off. So when I was seeing that tattoo, that's kind of what the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. You know, God's Spirit was speaking to me. He wants to put a stop to all of the abrupt changes that you've been having to go through. I feel like the Lord was starting to speak to me about like, embrace your creativity. Does any of that make sense to you though? In what sense? I've had multiple, multiple changes in my life that were in my control and out of my control. You were pretty accurate. Yeah. Can I pray into that real quick before we go? Father, I thank you for Leanne. And I just break right now that generational attack, that generational thing that has been following the family, causing these abrupt changes from happening. I right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, set your feet on solid ground so that you can now have the focus and things that you need so you can move forward in what God has called you to do. So Father, I thank you for the Father's love that will come upon her and sustain her, complete her, and let her know that you are now leading her and you're not going to let these crazy changes continue to happen. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's tie this in biblically since God has spoken to us through his word. So this is an example of prophetic evangelism, uh, that people view this as going up to people, getting a word of knowledge, or using some sort of symbol that they see, such as for this young lady that she had a butterfly tattoo on her leg. And so Daniel Adams begins to give a word of knowledge, if you will, or trying to prophetically interpret why she got this butterfly tattoo or what the meaning of it is. But what this actually looks more like is a new age practice, um, a cult practice. This is something that I, I think would even fall under the category in Deuteronomy 18 of omen reading, if you will. This is using something as a symbol in order to interpret some sort of spiritual meaning into it. And there are new agers that actually uh, interpret tattoos and they even believe that having tattoos open portals and different things like that. So that's another thing there in and of itself. And notice some of the things that he says to her, too. They're very generalized. That could apply to anybody. <laughs> but then he goes on to minister to her in such a way that he's breaking off generational curses. And um, after she's affirmed what he said according to what he said to her and in this vague way. And so he begins to what he would say is minister the gospel to her in breaking off generational curses and such. What my point would be is that this young lady did not need someone to interpret her tattoo. What this young lady needed was the gospel. She needed to hear of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and the call of repent of your sins and believe, turn to Christ to save you and to give you the promise of eternal life. That's what she needed to hear. But she didn't. She didn't hear the gospel, sadly. This was all focused on a supernatural encounter or experience and trying to demonstrate the power of God when really it was an unbiblical practice that this woman encountered from someone who is claiming to be an apostle. Y'all stay biblical, please stay biblical. This is this example of prophetic evangelism is not a biblical practice. This is more akin to new age and we're not to look like pagans. So please stay biblical and Proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ according to scripture. It's sufficient.